Hey guys, it's me, Julie, and I'm back with another vintage jewelry video. If you would like to buy anything, the step-by-step -step instructions are down in the description. For some reason, they disappeared last video, um, but I will make sure that they are there for you. Basically, you email me at mymamaandme at outlook.com. Tell me the number or numbers of the items that you want. Um, tell me your name and address for shipping. And let me know if you want to pay with PayPal or uh, with a credit card. And that's all I need. I can invoice you from there. So there is also the top comment, which is a sold list. If you check that top comment, it will tell you if the items you're looking for are already sold. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. First pair of earrings, Marvella. You can see Marvella right there. They are like a gold tone maybe some slight slight wear it's kind of a beigey gold color guys really nice clips they're three quarters of an inch and we're going to do these for three dollars three dollars and if you're new this is item number 51 i don't mention that every time anymore they just kind of sit on screen for you okay these are cool clips I'm going through things that i labeled last night because there was a pair of vandell earrings and i know that um, my friend Michelle that watches, hi Michelle, is a fan of those. So I'm gonna make sure they're in here. Hopefully I find them. <laughs> okay, so we have a pair of clip earrings, gold tone, really, really cool looking. Maybe some slight, slight wear on the high part there. It's always so hard to tell if it's really wear. Um, it kind of tricks your eye. Uh, these are not signed. Oh, sorry, you would wear them this way. I apologize. Aren't they cool? And these guys are an inch and three quarter tall. Some nice clippies. And these are going to be $4. $4. So last night I could not sleep, you guys. I could not. I could not fall asleep. Oh my gosh. Oh, I found the Vandels. I could not fall asleep at all. I was thinking about all these fun things I want to do with you guys for the holidays. Um, typically, like, I give back somehow during the holidays like a lot of people do and typically I'm in stores and I'll run into like a Toys for Tots drive or um, an angel tree or something like that. These are Vandal. Um, I'm not sure if they're Onyx or not. I don't have my machine here. I'm going to pretend that they're not or sell them as they're not. They are screwbacks and they are gold filled. Um, 12 karat gold filled and they're three quarters of an inch. That's my fingerprints, so you know if you need to give them to the, the police or anything, they're right there. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, it's the lotion prints. Anyway, three quarters of an inch tall, 12 karat gold filled Vandel, six dollars. Um, so anyway, I typically run into something and end up giving back that way, but you know, I haven't been in the stores like at all. I've been ordering. So I haven't run into anything. So I was thinking that maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign that I'm supposed to give back to you guys because you guys have brought me so much joy in the last couple months. So then I couldn't sleep because then I had all these ideas and I was like dying and I had to get up and write them all down. And oh my goodness, I'm really excited. Really, really, really excited. It's going to be fun. So stay tuned. Okay, we've got an owl brooch. This is Crown Trafari, you guys. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Crown Jafari. And this guy, I did not realize he's a pretty good piece. Um, he's an inch and a quarter tall, and I'm going to charge you guys 25 Now, just remember that if I put these things on eBay, I would put them a little bit higher. I give you guys discounts for being my awesome subscribers. Oh, you know what else I wanted to tell you? Martha, my friend Martha that watches, she thinks this little fancy thing is a scarf clip, which totally makes sense. And maybe of Scottish origin, which also makes sense because there are Scottish pieces coming at some point from this jewelry lot. So thank you, Martha. Appreciate you. Okay, let's see what's next. I have a little cameo. This guy has a little bit of wear. You can see right there it's going to be $4. Um, has a little bit of wear and she's a little dirty. She needs a little bit of little bit of cleaning but she's really pretty um it's a brooch and she is how tall she is an inch wide by an inch and a quarter tall and she's going to be just four dollars four dollars really cute 
And you know what else I have to get set up, guys? Our 500 subscriber giveaway. We are having one. And it's going to be awesome. And I haven't set it up. Basically, I have this mirror tray that I have set up with all these jewelry displays. Um, so that we can have basically every kind of jewelry. And you guys can pick what you want if you're the winner. I think it's going to be so fun. Okay, Japan Clippies in pretty good condition. Slight, slight wear. Oh, I see some verdigris there. Don't like verdigris. Not selling them. Okay, forget that. Skip that. Um, these are amazing. And you need to do that pause because it's serious. Amazing. <laughs> um, these are Crown Trafari rhinestone earrings and they are stunning aren't they beautiful guys um they are one inch tall they are clippies and there's your crown trafari and i will do these for 10 these are incredible <laughs> i love them ten dollars i might bust out some rhinestone earrings for christmas dinner this year so you guys probably have heard of this brand but i had not it's Jomaz, and that does stand for something, but I forgot to write it down. <laughs> Jomaz, um, and that's what it's actually signed, if I can find it here. See right there? Jomaz. This is a seal. I could not find this guy anywhere. Not through Google Lens, not through anything. Couldn't find it. I found other Jomaz seal brooches, and their brooches go for a pretty penny. I had no idea. So... Um, I'm assuming this guy is probably a little bit more rare because I literally couldn't find him anywhere. Um, so he is, so, you know, two and a half inches tall and he's going to be $50. I think that if I put him on eBay, I might put him at a hundred and just see what happens. He's pretty fantastic. You guys. Okay. This is an unsigned piece. It's a nice set. It's a beautiful set. It's a necklace and bracelet set, gold tone, and this cool, cool chain. Isn't that neat, guys? It's in immaculate condition. There's your spring clasp. So you've got the necklace and the matching bracelet. Look at that. Awesome condition. Okay, so um, let me get some info on this one. Necklace has a total... Is that total length? I bet it is. Total length of 19 inches. Bracelet has a um, length of 7 inches. And we're going to do the set for $15. $15. And it's in like new condition, you guys. Like new. Gorgeous. And it looks a lot like Monet gold color to me. So maybe it had a tag at one point and it lost it. I don't know. Okay. I have another Whiting and Davis piece. Okay, see here? It's an eight and a half inch drop plus an extender. Did I write plus extender? I did not. So you know what guys, I'm gonna double check that for you right now. Just in case, since my note taking is not perfection. <laughs> okay, let's see, where are we at? Okay, so seven inch drop without extender. I'm thinking it's an eight inch drop with the extender and it's a two inch extender. Yes, eight inch drop with the extender, you guys. Um, and it is Whiting and Davis, like I said. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, here it is. I couldn't remember where it was. Oh boy, I'm off camera, sorry. That's neat, I totally forgot it looks like this. It's split, this little piece is split open. And look at that. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I was reading a text. That was rude. Um, it does say Whiting and Davis, I promise. <laughs> I think Jeff's sister is up to something. Okay, so this is number 59, and we're going to do this one for $16. All I could see was a picture of pajamas and the text. <laughs> And we had this conversation. She went to Vermont at the same time we did. And we had lunch with her first. And we had a conversation because my husband um, 
is um, is the Grinch. <laughs> and we're all doing matching pajamas for my family this year. And he was like, bah humbug to that. And she was like, it's the thing to do, Jeff. <laughs> so anyway, I see a picture of pajamas come through in my text. And I'm like, oh boy, what's she up to? Okay, 14 karat gold filled is what this guy says, okay? This is not marked that way. The chain is. Um, tiny bit of wear here. I wouldn't doubt that this probably is gold filled. It has that look. Um, this chain is incredible. Check that out. Isn't it beautiful? The chain is in perfect condition. And here's your little pendant. And let me get you some info. So on this baby, 12 inch drop on the chain and this pendant is an inch and a half wide. And it does have like a rose gold here and a yellow gold here, okay? And $12 guys, $12 on that necklace. Okay. Let's do this because it's so cute. Okay, you guys, this sent me down a whole rabbit hole and now I want to collect mandal brooches. And I'm assuming it's mandal. Oh, probably mandal, not mandal. I want to collect them. I want all of them. Oh my gosh. They all have hair. Well, I don't know if all of them. I was into the dogs. They have hair, you guys. And there's one that looks like a shaggy dog and its hair is like all over. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I had a Lhasa Apso that passed away um, last December. And it just, it reminds me of her so much. Her name was Doodle. Okay, I'm wasting time on the pin, but I don't wanna get stuck. So this is a cute little brooch, Mandel, or Mandel, I guess. It's two inches tall. She does have some possessed red eyes, but she's cute, she's still cute, and we can cover them a little. <laughs> Oh gosh, $15, so cute. But that brooch that I'm mentioning that I really, really love is like $100. <laughs> so probably not gonna be in the brooch market for that right now. <laughs> I have to sell a lot more jewelry for that. <laughs> Look at this gorgeousness, you guys. AB Crystals, it's Lisner. Gorgeous, gorgeous Lisner. Uh, this one isn't flashing as much, so I'm thinking maybe it was glued back in. I do want to make you aware of that. Uh, right there is Lisner. Tell me the size. It is two inches. And I was going to do 15, but because I just noticed that, I'm going to mark it down to 12. You guys got a coupon coming. Let's make it 12. $3 off coupon, guys. Gotta love it. Okay. Can I reach one more down here? I think I can. Okay, Japan earrings. Let's cross our fingers for no vertigree. No vertigree, no vertigree. Cool, you know what? These are neat because they're not a circle. Most of them are a circle, right? Um, these are an inch tall. They say Japan. Oh look, the base shape is actually like a half a circle. Isn't that cool? Very neat, different. Right? You don't see them all the time. I would say they are in pretty, pretty good shape. Maybe need a tiny cleaning. This guy could lean, maybe need a little cleaning. Gorgeousness. Um, and we're going to do these for $4, you guys. $4. Okay. Guys, and I'm always open to construct constructive criticism. Um, if you can think of something that would make my video better... Um, I am always open to hearing that in the comments for sure because um, I want to make it awesome. Okay, so these are three quarters of an inch. These are not signed. They are clippies. Really pretty. Look at those. Those are cute. I I went to the wrong side of the, my note sheet here. Um, $4 on these. $4. Cause it's good to always be improving. I'm commenting on that last comment, right? <laughs> That's always a good thing. All right. Are you guys all decorated for Christmas? I totally am not. Like what a slacker, huh? Honestly, there are years I skip. <laughs> um, again, Jeff and I don't have kids and I don't really have kids that come here. So 
I kind of skip sometimes, which probably leads to more bah humbug from my husband because he's not feeling it, you know, he's not seeing it. <laughs> Little snowflake earrings that do not want to show nicely, but they are cute. They are five eighths of an inch, and I'm going to do these guys for $3 for you. They're silver tone, in case you couldn't see, and a little like rhinestone in the middle. These are kind of fun, you guys. Someone who loves the beach. They are, um, are those clamshells? Mm, I'm not sure. Like clamshell earrings and maybe some dyed howlite or some faux stone. Really cool. Got some blue around the shell right there. Um, it doesn't look like it's wear. I was thinking maybe the um, metal wore on it, but it doesn't look like that, you guys. These are really cute. Are these glass? Probably acrylic. Let's see. They are four and three quarter inches from here to here. And we're going to do these guys for $4. $4. Can you guys think about beach time yet? I can't. I don't really love the beach, if I'm honest, but summertime I do. But I can't think about it yet because then it will make winter even harder. <laughs> <laughs> no thinking yet. Okay. Gorgeous cameo. Now, guys, I've gotten my education on cameos from Google, right? <laughs> I don't know if this is a real shell. Um, one of the ways you tell is by feeling the back and feeling if it's concave, like if it dips in a little bit, like the shape of a shell. Another way um, is to see tool marks in the shell, okay? I see tool marks, but I'm wondering if tool marks can be faked. I mean, everything can be faked. So I'm not positive if it's a real shell or not. Um, that's something that somebody who knows a little bit more would have to decide. Um, I do see that some of it is set down really tightly and some not. So it's making me think that maybe this has some shape to the back. Um, so it's an inch and three quarter tall. It is a pendant. And I'm going to do this for $12. $12. And she's very, very beautiful. And she is right facing. I guess the left facing is a little more um, rare. And I do have some left facing cameos coming in this lot for sure. Okay, this little guy, you know, I got to pick and choose what I bought uh, out of the lot. There were things I left behind. I think this is just a little tag on him. And I probably should have left him behind, but I thought he was so cool. <laughs> I think this is a wrapped bead. I think he's like an ornament. You could do whatever you wanted with him, but I think he's just so cute. He has such serious character. <laughs> um, he's three and a quarter inches tall and he's gonna be $4, $4. Do you think he's a giraffe? He has a very tall neck. First I was thinking a deer, but then I was looking with you guys and I'm thinking maybe a giraffe. Okay, we got a coral feather brooch. It is three inches long, in great shape. There's the Coro. And we're gonna do this guy for $6, $6. Um, I said great shape, but now I'm seeing a little bit of wear. Do you guys see that? It's hard to see. All right, we're doing a coupon again. $5, a $1 off coupon, you guys. $5 on this guy little tiny bit of wear. Okay. Next piece. Oh, pretty red. What's your favorite color, guys? Mine's red and orange is a very close second. More like a corally orange would be like my fave fave. Okay. This is Coro. It's gorgeous. Red rhinestones. Gorgeousness. There's the Coro name and it is, let's see, an inch and three eighths wide, and this one's going to be six dollars. Well, that's a bargain. Six dollars. Okay, but yeah, I'm drawn to red. Ever since I was little, red's been my favorite color my whole entire life. Um, okay, let's see what this is. Okay, this is an inch and three quarter wide. There's a little bit of wear on the um, loop that joins this. This is called a head pin, I believe, and then they make it into a loop end. A little bit of wear, okay? 
Um, is it signed? Yes, it's signed Dewberry, which was another new um, new brand for me, Dewberry. Can you guys see it? It's hard to see. Um, and I will do this guy for $5, $5. And I do have one other Dewberry piece that is actually in its little um, bag that it came in. It's really cool. It came in like a glassine bag and it's still in it. Okay, another Cloisonne necklace. Oh, hi, Bryn. It looks like the smaller version of the one that we saw yesterday. Um, very, is it? Yes, it's like the same pattern. It's really cool. Tied in between each one. I believe this clasp has been replaced um, with a lobster clasp. It has an 11 inch drop. Okay, let me show you a bead up close so you can see. Isn't that pretty? Um, and we're gonna do this one for 18, $18. Okay, let's see. So my husband's on his way home and I'm hoping I can get my video done before he comes in and everybody goes crazy. <laughs> Inch and three eighths wide, patriotic. Now guys, I looked at this forever last night. Do these stand for something, the order they're in or are they just totally random? Like, does it mean something? Because look, like nothing is matching it's like it's random i'm so curious does anybody know um anyway <laughs> i was wondering if it had meaning but i could not find it <laughs> so it's an inch and three eighths not signed we're gonna do five dollars on this one and i have another one that's very similar to that um that you guys will see whenever i find it this necklace is cool but <sighs> I'm 99% sure it's Onyx, but I feel like we should test it. So I'm going to put it in the test pile. Sorry to tease you with it. Um, okay, so we have some rose gold roses. They're a mix of rose and yellow gold. Aren't they cool? They are screwbacks. And they have this symbol on the back, which probably is a maker of some kind that I'm not aware of. I believe these are three quarters of an inch. Nope, five eighths, five eighths of an inch, just over a half inch. And we're gonna do $6 on these, $6. Great condition, you guys. Great condition. Uh-oh, I heard a little bark. Could be bad. Okay, purple button earrings, plastic. Okay, they're an inch and an eighth wide. Okay, clippies, cuties, could use maybe a little clean, $3, $3 on those. Okay, let's see what's next. So my nails are definitely having a problem. Have you guys noticed? I mean, how could you not? <laughs> the polish did not stick to the tips or the underside. I'm not sure why. And we're just going with it. These are cool, huh? So these are really neat, you guys. These All of these black balls have um, splattering and lines of gold on them. They are really cool. They are marked Japan in very, very good condition. One inch wide. And we are going $4 on these guys. $4. Really cool looking. And it's almost a pinky gold color. Okay. On the other parts. Pinky gold. I'm gonna have to grab more number tags. Look at us go. Ooh. Okay, so we've got another rose gold rose. This would probably be lovely with those earrings. See right there. Maybe a teeny bit of wear. Not really, guys. It's more the camera. Whoa. Um, it's really nice. It's gonna be six dollars. It's two and a quarter inches wide. Really pretty. Okay, I have to get more tags, you guys. Let's put something pretty down to look at. I need something really pretty. Oh, this is neat. We'll put this out. I don't know if it counts as really pretty, but it's really cool. Check this out, guys. This is a serious lariat. So check that out for two seconds while I get cards. <laughs> 
Okay, hopefully I grabbed enough. <laughs> okay, we've got a Lariat necklace. I think these might be ceramic, you guys. Isn't that cool? We've got some fringe tassels and this chunker chain. Isn't that neat? Really cool. Let me get you some info on it so you know what you're doing. <clears throat> It has a 20, excuse me, by the way, 20 and a half inch drop, okay? And we're going to do this one for $18. And $18. If you don't like heavy necklaces, this isn't the one for you. It's not horribly heavy, but you are going to feel it, okay? Let's put that one away. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got another rose pin. This one's neat. It's got... um. Rose and green and black. The stem is black and the leaves have some green iridescence and it's like a, well, some kind of flower. This does move. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but you can kind of twist it. Um, this is made by Coro. Let me see if I can show you. It's right there. Um, it is three inches wide. Holy cow, do you hear my voice? And this one's going to be $12. I told you guys I'm battling something, but I feel like I'm winning. I'm feeling better today. <laughs> and I never went totally down. So <clears throat> I feel like I'm winning. I've been eating the Manuka honey. You guys ever heard of Manuka honey? It's an all natural antiviral. Anytime I feel sick, I have some. Um, okay, so this one is not signed. It's two and a half inches long. It is gorgeous. And I'm going to do this one for $10. $10. Okay. Got some gold tone earrings with some beads. These are cute. Little clippies. Not signed. And let's see if we can get a size on you. Uh, two inches. And they're going to be $3. $3. Okay. Let's see. Okay. This is a kind of cool cameo. I personally had never seen one like this. It's a green cameo. Isn't that cool? So it's green, gold tone, brooch, and matching screw back earrings. Can you guys see them? Not signed. I'm going to give you a better look at her so you can actually see the lady. So the brooch is an inch and a quarter tall and the earrings are half an inch, okay? So for the whole set, the three-piece set, the power, we're going to do $12. Oh, I think I did that well. Power. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got now. We got this broochy. Got a little bit of wear here, guys. Um, and this was gold paint, I think. So this is by Vans Authentic, another brand that I looked up. This has really good weight to it. Vans Authentic, and it is a brooch or a pendant. It is uh, two and a quarter inches wide, and it's $10, and I did take into consideration the wear on it, $10. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh my goodness, wait till you see these guys. If these don't sell, I might pop them on for Christmas. Not that we go crazy fancy, but you don't have to be crazy fancy to be sparkly. Look at those. They are Trafari, not crown Trafari, just regular Trafari. I'm upside down. Um, they are clip earrings. They're an inch and a half long. Aren't they cool? We're going to do $8 on these. They're in really good condition, you guys. Really good condition. Okay, so I've been thinking um, for the sterling rings that I have left, guys, of just doing a quick video that gets them onto the number system, because I have people still purchasing them. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? I think it probably is. Two and three quarter inches long cameo brooch. It is Avon. Can you see that? Avon. <laughs> um, and it's going to be $6. $6. Just so they're on a number system, and if you guys aren't into sterling rings, you could just skip the video. That's what I'm thinking. 
tell me what you think. We have another number system. Uh, number system. <laughs> we have another purr. A set. It's kind of, that word is kind of like a purr. 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 <laughs> like a cat could say it. Okay, a brooch and earrings. These are post earrings. Yellow gold and rose gold tone. Um, I'm going to do $20 on the set. They are the brooch. It, oh, it's Cremence, you guys. The brooch is labeled Cremence. It's hard to see. It's on the pin bar right there. Okay, I forgot about that. The earrings are not signed, but they look the same. Let me show you why I'm thinking they probably are. Do you see that center? It's pretty, like, noticeable. Well, do you see this one does kind of the same thing? Let me turn it this way. I'm thinking they're both Cremence. Okay, but this is labeled, signed, the earrings are not. Okay, and we're going to do $20 for the set. The brooch is one inch wide and the earrings are a quarter inch wide. Okay, let me hold these and get the number. Okay, it's been so fun doing this because I'm learning so much about all these brands. Linda had commented that there's such a variety of makers and there really is. There's so many different makers that it's been so fun. I've got a little uh, vintage brooch. She might need a little cleaning. She's going to be $8. Um, oh, there it is. She's an inch wide. Really cute. Good condition on the back. Okay. Next. All right, is there anything I, I really want? Oh yes, I wanted to make sure he got shown today because if you order today, you could definitely still get for Christmas, I think. Look at this vintage reindeer brooch. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, isn't he? I just love him. Um, he is gonna be $5. He's one and a half inches um, this way and two inches this way, okay? Guys, that doesn't seem right. I feel like maybe I messed up, but let's look. Oh, it's pretty close. Okay. Isn't he cute? $5 on the little cutie pie. Okay, and I believe there's a vintage Santa brooch in here, which I would love to find. Um, oh, there's that dewberry in the bag. If you bear with me for two seconds, you guys, I'm looking for that vintage Santa. I should have done that before I got on. I apologize. Okay, well, forget it. We're going to stop. Because that's annoying, and I don't feel like editing. <laughs> I was telling Bryn yesterday, you made me have to edit. <laughs> okay, guys. These are cute. Look at them. Aren't they cool? Gold tone. Pretty good condition. Tiny bit of wear and scratching, like always. Not marked. They're going to be $4. They're an inch and a quarter tall. They go this way. All right. Put them over. All right, here's that dewberry, you guys, that is in the bag, which I thought was so cool, and I will keep it this way, even though I really want to steal the bag for a junk journal I make, but I will leave it. Isn't that cool? Dewberry, dewberry, um, Fifth Avenue, New York. A little glassine bag, and we have a wreath brooch. Isn't that cute? And it is marked right here, so it is what it claims to be. Okay. And um, it's an inch and a half wide. And we're going to do $5. $5. I'm not going to put that in that right now because it will take forever. Okay. Next. Cool brooch coming, guys. Cool brooch. It's been pretty brochy today, hasn't it? Look at it. Isn't that cool? It's like a white enamel on there, but it's so neat. It looks like an actual feather. And some minor scratching there. Maybe a tiny bit of pitting. Not crazy though. Kissable distance, noticeable. Not noticeable. <laughs> okay, this is JJ, you guys. Um, it's an inch and a quarter by two inch. Inch and a quarter by two inch. And it is $7 seven dollars and it is gorgeous okay let's see what's next okay these have a little bit of wear um i kept the price low but they're really cool 
um, you can see they just have a little bit of wear, but they're really, really neat, you guys. I thought they were neat. Um, they are three and three quarter inches long, and we're gonna do just three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. Okay, let's see. What is this? This is pretty. Look at that, you guys. BSK. Gorgeous. Wow. Sorry, I got I got mesmerized. BSK. And it is an inch and a half wide, and we're gonna go 15 on this. And she's a stunner. Stunner. Okay. Let's see what we have next. I think we're gonna do a ring. Are you guys ready? I've got a couple over here I pulled out. Let's look at this one. We've got a ring. This is Taiwan, signed Taiwan, size seven. And we're gonna do $7. It's very pretty. Seven, $7. Okay. We're on a ring roll. Let's get another ring. Right here. This one is um, a size eight. I'm gonna double check it because it says eight inches, but I think mama's getting tired on that one. It's probably more of a seven and three quarter, you guys. Seven and three quarter. Isn't that pretty? Um, it is 12 karat high grade electroplate and it is marked Taiwan. And we're gonna do seven dollars. Seven dollars. Oh, I see another ring. Should we do another one? Let's do it. Let's do it. Where did I see it? Oh, I got it. Da -da. Look at that. That's cool looking, huh? Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got a size eight and a quarter, seven dollars. Pretty. That looks nice on. I like it. Did you see it's 96? Okay. Let's see. I think I have this is the other red, white, and blue brooch that I was asking if the order of the stones means something. Because it looks so random to me. I'm just so curious. Maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's like God bless America or something, and I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, it's um, an inch and three eighths wide. It is not marked and it is $5. And it is different than the other one. If you wanna see the difference. This one's a little bit brighter gold. This is number uh, 73. And um, the stones are in a different order. <laughs> okay. In case you were interested in those and why don't we stay with the patriotic feel right here we've got another patriotic brooch it is not signed it's two and a half inches long these are acrylic and it's five dollars five dollars you guys could be all set for the fourth of july and veterans day and memorial day and all the days okay you guys gotta see this kitty another siamese kitty Look how cute. Okay, he's an inch wide. He is signed Boucher. Um, my, I had a family friend with that last name and they pronounced it Boucher. So hopefully I'm, that's how they do too. Um, he is gonna be $9. He's the cutest. <laughs> $9, I'm gonna run out of tags again. Oops. They take up more room than you think when you're grabbing. Okay, let's see what this is. Gorgeous, look at that. Not wear, just the lights. Let me see the tips. Seems like that's where they always get wear, right? From rubbing on the tips. I don't see any, guys. It looks good to me. This is Crown Trafari, and it's big. Can you see it? Um, let's see, it is two and three quarter inches wide, and I did this one for $6 for you guys. $6, oh boy. I ran out of tags again. Oh boy, here, look at this, it's very pretty. I thought that might be Vandel, but it's not. Um, I'm just gonna grab a couple tags because we're gonna finish up soon. Um, okay, let's see what this one is. Doesn't it kind of have a Vandel feel? I thought so. 
but I'm new to Vandell, so, oh my goodness, come on and open. Okay, let's see. It is an inch and three quarter wide, and I'm assuming you could wear it like this or like this. It's cool, right? Stylized flowers, huh? It's cool. I like it. It's going to be $5, inch and three quarter wide, not signed. <clears throat> Okay, got another cameo for you. Isn't that cool? I swear I've seen this lady on another cameo too. Was she just on our cameo earlier? Is she the same lady? Let's see. Dun -dun. Are they long lost sisters? They might be. <laughs> Look, I think it's the same. This one feels like, um, this one feels a little heavier, like so maybe it could be shell. This one feels a little, a little lighter, like it was resin. Um, and let's see if I can see, and I don't see any scraping marks. So maybe, maybe. A little wear on the back. Inch and a quarter tall, it is a brooch, and it's gonna be $5, $5. Okay, let's see what these are. These are pretty. <clears throat> These are um, Freyrich, F-R-E-I-R-I-C-H, okay? They are clippies. Here is the name. Can you see that? I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm saying Freyrich. They kind of look like bows, don't they? They're really pretty, and they're in really good condition. Um, these are um, one inch by one and three quarter inches, and they are $7. Gorgeous. I see some dog glitter. Pretend you didn't see that. Okay, we've got another flower brooch, a rose brooch, and it is coming apart. It's Giovanni, not coming apart, it's open, is what I should say. Can I get it? I think I got it, guys. Yes. Okay, Giovanni, right there. Can you see it? It says it, I promise. Um, three inches, and it's gonna be $5. Is that where? Nope, looks like dirt. $5. Okay, I can't really reach any more over here. Maybe we can make a little more room, a little more room right next to me. Okay. So, oh, you know what, guys? Guess what? I didn't even realize these Giovanni earrings go with this Giovanni brooch. Check it out. So the earrings are going to be $3. Um, they're three quarters of an inch. And yes, they totally go. They're the leaves. <laughs> cool. Okay, so $3 for the earrings, $5 for the brooch. Should we keep them together? I think we should. Let's go $8 on the set. And we'll keep them together. All right, how am I gonna do that? Put them together, there we go. Okay, so let's see what else we have left. I think we're probably gonna end now, guys. We're at like 43 minutes. Oh, nope, we're gonna end after this because I found what I was looking for. Check out this vintage Santa. I like the lines of him somebody trying to make a different Santa, right? Isn't that cool? Two inches tall. That's what he looks like. Needs a little cleaning. He's going to be $5. So we're going to end with Santa. And I am going to put him over here. Okay. I got everybody on the table. Everybody's ready to go. Um, I didn't think of a question. Let me think if I can think of a question quickly. Well, maybe I'll just talk, talk to you for a second. So the things that we're going to be doing for the holidays are going to be giveaways and mysteries. So you have to stay tuned and you have to stay aware. Do, 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 do. So that's my hint to you. <laughs> okay, you guys remember you can be anything you want in this world. So please choose to be kind. See you later.